Beautiful hands, man. Look at that. You know why this, you see this hand here? The nice thing about this hand is I got four boys, so when I point to two of them, they both come. Yeah, you go. You two guys, come here. All right, Chris Wolby here. Capital of Fort Lincoln, Manitoba Tough. Also in tackle, number 683, Chris Wolby. It's the old cliche, it's home, but it is home. I think the fact that I got to play in my hometown is the coolest thing. I, I just think it's so cool to be part of Winnipeg and Manitoba. Well, I'm very fortunate, I tell you what, to be from the north end of Winnipeg, which is probably one of the, it actually still is, regarded as one of the toughest, you know, places to grow up in in, in, uh, in Winnipeg. And the blue collar, seemed like there was always some sort of fisticuff thing going on. It's a, it's a sense of pride for me now to say that, you know, I grew up in that area. The thing that probably saved a lot of us was the fact there was an ability to do something, whether it be in the, in the winter time we had a rink. We played touch football out there, which usually ended up being like tackles, kids. You know, sports is a big thing for us. So I go and try out with the Winnipeg Hawkeyes. And they don't cut nobody. They don't cut anybody. I broke that tradition because they cut me. No way. So uh, I remember the head coach pulls me aside. I'll never forget his line, though. He says to me, Chris, uh, I don't think football is the game for you. I would find another sport. And so he cut me, and was, I was so embarrassed and crushed. I, I ended up using this as motivation. I go and try out the following year with a team called the Winnipeg Rods. I'm obviously a lot bigger now. A little bit more determined, maybe, you know, and maybe a little more confident. Anyway, I played two years, and uh, on my second year, I get an opportunity. I get a call from a school in the States, and uh, they offer me a scholarship. I played three years. I left as a junior, and I'm sitting there, and I remember I get a phone call, and I got, uh, the GM at the time was Bob Geary, but he was from Montreal Alouettes. And he said, Chris, we've taken you in the first round, fourth overall pick. You're coming to Montreal, welcome. So I signed a two-year-old in Montreal, and I'm playing with guys like Billy White, Shoes Johnson, Vince Ferragamo. The old cats around will know who those guys are. These were NFL legends, right? Junior Ayu, the crazy, who's one of the craziest cats I ever met in my life. His eyes look like sharks. I was just terrified of these guys, but I loved them. These are my teammates, man. This is great. I got a phone call from, uh, my my uh, my dad and he goes, uh, you're not with Montreal anymore. I go, what are you talking about? I'm writing them. And he goes, well, evidently through back door, I find out that I've been cut. And it's such a convoluted story that it would take a long time. But anyway, the long 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 story of it is that the uh, long and short of it is that they basically said, well, if you come to Winnipeg, there's a ticket for you at the Trudeau Airport. If you can come here, we'll redo your contract, and you can be a, you can play in front of your hometown. I'm standing on the river walk at the Forks, where the Red and Assiniboine rivers meet in the heart of the continent to embrace a city, my city, Winnipeg. Pack your bags to go. They picked me right up at the airport, took me here and signed me to a new contract. <laughs> yeah, I busted every, uh, every bolt of my hand. Uh, every finger, and I look down, and every time a heart beats, I'm shooting a gush of blood, eh? And my head coach, God bless him, Cal Murphy, a tough old Irish bugger, eh? He goes, I guess you're out now. I go, you think? Blew my bicep in Birmingham. Tremendous amount of scopes. And the last one that was the big one, it was ninth my last year. And it's a meaningless game because we got, we're in the playoffs the following week anyway against Edmonton. So I, and my knee is messed up. Me and my, my brilliance allow them to shoot me up. So now I numb the knee right up. I go out and I slide out and I think about first quarter in and I hear snap. I just snap my ACL. Uh, now I'm thinking, okay, I'm 40 years old. My career is finally uh, done. Ken Austin, who you know as a coach in, in Hamilton now, he was in Saskatchewan and all that. He was doing color, uh, uh, guest analyst, he was guest analyst. I mean, he couldn't make one of the games. It was Calgary versus Edmonton, playoff game. They were looking for another guy to do this. Well, they don't want O-line, man. Everybody wants quarterback because they're not intellectuals and they're all these, I guess. But there's a guy by the name of Scott Oak recommended that they give me an opportunity to be this guest analyst, calling 10 great cups with guys like Chris Cuthbert and 
and I work with Suter, and I work with uh, Mark Lee, and just tremendous, tremendous people. Now the, my affiliation is obviously the radio. I do TSN now, 1290, doing a cover the bomber game with uh, uh, Troy Westwood, who used to be a kicker here, and, and Darren Bombing. So uh, I'm back in it four years now again, and I love it. You know what's funny when you think of a man too tough? It's a term that can be used to describe a lot of things. I think it's perseverance. I think it's determination. It's fighting back when everybody's stepping on it. I think it's rising up. It's, it's getting up after being knocked down. And sometimes just surviving is Manitoba tough, man. Hey, join us next time for another edition of Capital Fort Lincoln, Manitoba Tough.